Have you guys heard about this? There's a rumor circulating social media sites like Facebook saying, I don't know if you know Facebook, but saying that if you are at an ATM and someone tries to rob you, you should enter your PIN number in reverse and it will alert law enforcement that you're in distress. So if you were going to enter yours, what would it be? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mo, 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 mo. 7777. Yeah, right. It sounds what? like a good idea, but is this a real thing? Yeah. Team 12's Monica Garcia is verifying it for us. Yeah, guys, there are some rumors we just want to be true. I mean, who isn't up for more protection? And like you just said, Paul, it is a good idea, but is it just that? A trip to the ATM for me is usually rushed or unplanned. And some internal thoughts. Gosh, I really deserve whatever it is I'm buying that day that doesn't accept debit. Anyway, in goes the card and out comes the dough. But what if suddenly, out of nowhere, you're being robbed? And if the balance in your bank account doesn't scare you, a bad guy holding a gun demanding cash sure will. So there's a post that's gone viral across Facebook. It claims that if you find yourself in trouble at an ATM, all you have to do is punch. Not the bad guy, but punch your pin number in reverse. And apparently, police will be called automatically. As somebody who's very involved in the cybersecurity industry, like I can recognize that immediately. So we're verifying. Is the reverse ATM pin number method a real thing? Helping us is Michael Kokenauer, the founder of one of the leading IT consulting organizations in Phoenix. Think about it logically, putting in your pin number backwards. There are some flaws with that. So first of all, what if your pin number is the same forwards and backwards? Like one, two, two, one. Then, then what happens, right? Like, I don't know about you, my pin number is six digits long. It would take me probably 15 or 20 seconds to go through the mental exercise of figuring out what that is backwards. Not unless your pin is one, two, three, four. Mine's not for the record. I mean, there's no way I'm gonna be able to figure that out and not tip them off that something is happening. We also tested the theory and just as Michael said, we got no money. Just this transaction canceled message saying I entered the wrong pin. And most importantly, no cops showed up to save the day. It is false, and you absolutely do not want to rely on that in an emergency situation. You'll still get robbed, but the banks call that a transaction fee. So it is a good idea, but as you just heard, it is not foolproof. So there you have it, guys. Live in downtown Phoenix, Monica Garcia, back to you.